she did she did not just spit on him fix my scarf listen in fact the authorities are considering this a act of terrorism way of life as cute even in hunted Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Guys, today I have a video that will make you feel a lot of type of ways. Probably cringe, probably upset, but you gotta stay tuned for this video. It is absolutely crazy and it made me even feel like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm actually making a reaction to this because this can't be happening. Before we continue this video, please make sure you smash that video with a huge thumbs up, subscribe to the channel as well, and just jump into this video that I'm talking about. Here's some context before you pass judgment on this sister. Here's some facts. They're in Australia. She got pulled over by a cop because she was going 120 kilometers an hour in a 50 kilometer zone. She claimed to have coronavirus and that's the reason she's speeding to a hospital. Now, let's watch the video and you decide for yourself. Huh? Yeah? Oh, she did not, she did, she did not just spit on him. She did not just do that. Oh, she cursing him out. Oh, he rock bottomed her. Oh, guys, guys, what did I just witness right now? What, what? We need to rewind this back. Put these, put these. Yeah? Ale, do not spit on me or you'll get put on the ground. I want to put my lawyer, let go. Put them on the way to the f up again, Do not spit on me. I don't. So a lot of you are probably feeling a certain type of way and I want you to tell me in the comment section below What did you feel immediately just from watching that clip with me right now? Like she clearly was cursing them out saying a bunch of vulgar things in probably a different language and She spat on the dude, which is kind of disrespectful if you think about it Now, before we talk about her for a second Let's really get some more context on the situation of the world Muslims are disenfranchised and dehumanized on the daily it's not often that you see positive messages about Islam being portrayed in the media and to be quite honest with you, it could be kind of annoying. And of course, cops don't necessarily have the best reputation of being level-headed and good people, at least in the area that I'm in, which is New York City. Now, we can't pass judgment until we understand the full situation, which we never will. Because that clip just shows you that she's in handcuffs, but it doesn't show how she got into handcuffs. So before you start passing judgment on the entire situation, understand that there's a big chunk of information missing and then we can't really pass judgment now here's a part two to this video that a lot of people haven't seen let's watch that as well can't wait to sue she's cursing up a storm fix my scarf listen Fix my scarf. Okay, there's a big commotion happening, guys. Oh, these dudes are about to beat them up. It's about to get real. Oh, man, they brought the squad. These dudes is Lebanese, I can tell. They're Lebanese. They're from Lebanon. They're rolling deep. Yo, know, that dude's calves are just like brolic. Oh man, this is super upsetting, guys. This is this is just super upsetting. Look, to just see what's happening. And again, this does not take away fault from you know from the entire situation. But let's just let's just get into this a little more now that you've seen another piece of that information to see if that maybe changed how you feel about the entire situation. Here's another truth that minorities don't generally deal well with authorities such as the police. I know personally, if I see a cop, even though I'm squeaky clean, if I see a cop there, I will cross the road to avoid that cop because I want nothing to do with them. Now, if this sister was claiming to have corona by sp like spitting on someone, corona or not, is the wrong thing to do. But if you're saying that you have it, it's not a good idea for you to spread that disease or sickness onto someone else because that officer is already putting themselves in danger by not social distancing themselves between you and them because they got to do their job. But at the same time, you shouldn't be spitting on someone either way, but definitely not spreading disease. And guess what? 
this is not the first time someone has coughed or spat on someone when they've claimed to have coronavirus. In fact, the authorities are considering this a act of terrorism if you claim to have coronavirus and announce it to people and you come outside of your home. Chalo shukar hai. At least Muslims aren't the only one with the exclusive title of terrorism anymore. And perhaps you are coughing or spitting or doing something even remotely, something that could pass on that virus. You are deliberately pursuing an act of terror by harming others others around you. Oh, ever since people have been fighting Corona, no one is fighting ISIS anymore, huh? No one is Islamic Jihadism, huh? So maybe the sister has it, or maybe she doesn't have it. Or perhaps she just used it as a life hack so she doesn't get a fine or arrested for speeding in a zone that she shouldn't technically be speeding that much. Spitting on someone's face whether you have corona or not is demeaning, insulting, and just rude overall. And that's not the manners of a Muslim, period. But I think the type of speech she was doing is something that Arabs do, because I see Muhammad Hijab do this as well when he was angry. I think it's just like an Arab spit. Tell me in the comment section below if that's a true thing or not. Ali. Now, I don't know how you feel about this sister and everything that she's done. Tell me in the comment section below. But one thing is for sure, guys, we can't hold hijabi sisters to higher standards standards than everyone else. I know that sounds kind of crazy. But the thing is that hijabi sisters are wearing their deen on their sleeve, on their head actually, and they are more prone to receive discrimination. And that's something that you and I can't really deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. At least a dude can't. And we tend to hold hijabi sisters to a higher standard than we would to a perhaps non-hijabi sister or maybe just a regular Muslim because they're wearing their deen on their head. Hence, that means that they should be held to a higher standard. And I want to go on record and say that's wrong and that's not cool because everyone's on a different level of faith and we can't judge someone's character or their faith or their level of Iman based on how they look. This was of course wrong, but can we also acknowledge that this sister is in a very difficult situation, she's clearly upset, and she's pissed off. She feels like it's her against the entire world, and uh, she's upset, and of course if she could take it back, I'm sure she would never have acted this way if she could do a rewind, but unfortunately, this got the worst of her. When you're helpless, defenseless, and just plain old angry, you tend to make irrational decisions, and I think that's what she just did. Hijab or not, just understand that if you are a Muslim, you are literally representing Islam daily. Whether that be for the good or for the bad, you and I are ambassadors of this deen, whether you and I like it or not, or whether we have accepted this role or not. Messenger also was sent to us with one sole purpose. A lot of you might think it's for the deen or to spread Islam or to give us the Quran. But according to the Messenger Sallallahu it was to actually perfect our manners. So that's what I want to leave you upon right now, guys. Perfect your manners. Whether someone's watching or not, recording you or not, Allah is always recording you using his angels and watching you at all times. So be the best of people. Hold yourself to higher standards and just know that people make mistakes. Don't judge people so heavy that if you were in that situation, you and I don't know what we would have done. We might have acted even in a worse situation. Tell me in the comment section below that how do you think you would have responded if you were in that situation. Nonetheless, guys, I appreciate you for watching. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe by hitting this button right here. Check out my latest video by hitting the video right here. And until next time, I'm out.